Hey guys, Robin here, and welcome back to another movie review. Um, today, um, I'm going to be covering um, a superhero movie. Um, and um, just be the f <clears throat> and uh, because you can see the title down there. Um, today's movie is Ang Lee's Hulk. Now, for the most part, this I thought this movie was okay. I mean. Yeah, granted the CG is a little eh, and the writing is um, and the writing, and the writing's a bit iffy, but the acting is where this movie sucks. Like Jennifer Connelly, like she doesn't even friggin' try, okay? Like there is literally a scene where she's being attacked by three mutated dogs, one of them a French poodle. That are trying to eat her, her effing face, and she's just reacting, and she doesn't even look scared. <clears throat> there isn't one line where Jennifer Connelly tries, and Ang Lee should, should have fired her and replaced her with someone else. Sam Elliott, um, he's a good actor, but he does the best that he can. And Eric Bana, who plays, and Eric Bana, huh. and um, Eric Bana, um, he uh does his best. Okay, I mean, yeah. So the story is, um, when Bruce Banner was was a, was a child, his father David Banner did some kind of an experiment on, on him. That whenever he got angry, he would turn into the Hulk, and um, and apparently, and apparently before, and apparently before this freak lab accident, he never once got angry. He didn't get angry at bullies. He didn't get angry at, at teachers or anything. So yeah. <laughs> uh, now the reason why and um. The one thing that I do like about this movie, um, it's a very unique transition because Ang Lee, um, prior to this, he made uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which he had wanted to make his entire life. But as Hulk, he kind of decided to just, just throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and see what stuck. Unfortunately, a lot of the crap stuff did stick. Yeah. Um, this, but uh, there's this one character who's just incredibly friggin' stupid. I can't really remember his name right now, but uh, yeah, I hit angry. Well, um, it's um kind of an okay Hulk movie. In fact, um. <clears throat> This movie is actually the only movie that to actually show the the Comanche the RH eighty eight Comanche attack helicopter, which I actually sure was being designed around the time the film being made, and it was included in various action scenes in the movie, but the project was ultimately cancelled. Yeah. Although um <laughs> I think, like, my all-time favorite moment in this movie, um, <clears throat> is when, is when one of the helicopters shoots a rocket-propelled grenade at the Hulk, and the Hulk, I'm not kidding, he actually grabs the rocket and holds on to it while it is still firing. <clears throat> And he bites out the end of the rocker that has the, the grenade in it, throws the rocker on the ground, and actually spits the grenade back at the helicopter, which, like, yeah, that was, <laughs> let me tell you, this movie might, this movie may fail on acting and story, but it makes up for that in, like, action and spectacle. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> and the helicopter that gets the grenade spat, spat in it, <clears throat> it does go down and crash, but it doesn't explode. 
which would make sense since it's an armored helicopter. Which, um, yeah. So, it would kind of be refreshing to see an armored military attack he helicopter go down and not explode, which is, yeah. Yeah, so, um, this is yet another movie produced by, uh, Gail Ann Hurd. She seems to be a very, uh, prominent producer. Yeah, and, um, yeah, the effects, um, well, it's a movie from 2003, um, but actually the Hulk is CG, and, um, there's, like, a bit of a continuity issue where the Hulk keeps changing shades of green, like, in between shots, but, um, and, um, the Hulk, um, as he grows big, as he gets angrier, he does grow bigger, which does make sense, I mean, getting angry is what causes Banner to turn into the Hulk in the first place. So it does make sense that he gets bigger as he gets angrier. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty like jumps back and forth between two time periods. It jumps back from between, from between when Bruce Banner is a kid and when he's all grown up. Yeah, and, um, this movie does not take itself seriously, which is why the Hulk bites off the end of an RPG and spits back at the helicopter. <clears throat> you see, and why he is kind of crushed. Shit, Jennifer Connelly. Oh my god, Angry should have friggin' fired her. Um, which is why one of the dogs, which is why one of the mutant dogs who attacks her is a friggin' is a French poodle. I'm not even kidding. This movie actually features a giant, hulked out, mutated, vicious French poodle. <laughs> yeah, and uh. Yeah, I mean, so, if you can get past, like, the, the horrible acting, and the anemic story, um, then, yeah, the action sequences, for the most part, are pretty good, so, so, thank you all for watching this review, um, <clears throat> I will see you all soon, so, um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon, peace!